is my Lilo's Nets 18 LED PAR review. This light has its flaws, but is pretty good for its price point. As you can see, it's pretty bright, but for a PAR of its price, it's okay. The only thing is it has some weird fading times when in DMX mode. By that, I mean if you start sending signals really fast, it'll kind of delay the signal and just fade out on its own, even if you cut off the signal immediately. That's probably the biggest flaw of this light. Another big flaw is, as you can hear, the fan is pretty loud. And sometimes, whenever you first plug it in, it has to warm up. And by that, I mean it makes a very loud noise for a while. Then eventually it'll go back to normal like this. This light also can strobe. This light also comes with a scissor yoke. This fixture also has power out so you can link multiple fixtures. Alright, let's test out DMX mode. So, channel 1 is your intensity, so that'll do nothing for now. Channel 2 is red, channel 3 is green, channel 4 is blue. So if we turn the blue up and turn the intensity up, we get blue. Then we can mix our colors, like we could get purple if we put the red at half. Then we could get a little more of a lavender if we put green up. We could get a hot pink if we do, if we put... Um, red at full, green at zero, and blue at half. So there are many different options you have to color mix. Channel uh, 5 is your uh, sound mode. So, or no, this is just an automatic mode. Channel 7 is your strobe. The good thing about this fixture is it has an independent strobe channel. Lots of these cheap fixtures have, uh, their intensity will be half strobe, half intensity. Then, this can also dim your strobe, so you could have a very dim strobe, and the strobe can go up to this fast, so fast that the camera can't pick it up, so if I turn my intensity up, maybe it can. Yeah, it's so fast, the, oh wow, it has a pretty fast strobe. And the last channel is your different functions of the light, like the last one is sound mode. So that's the DMX mode of this light. One of the downsides is the scissor yoke is pretty bad, and often it'll collapse under under itself and lean the ca uh, light up on the cable, and that'll destroy your cable, which is a pretty big problem. And the DMX is on the bottom instead of on the sides. On some of the good lights, they have the DMX in there, just on the sides, and that can help with uh, breaking your cables and making it not break your cables. I know American DJ is one of the best brands that does that. I have two of these fixtures, and I've had them for probably nine months, and both of them have had power problems. On this particular one, the power cable is ripped, on the other one, it just straight up broke. And what's weird is the ground is what broke, but yet the light still didn't want to turn on. So we had to go inside of it and rewire uh, it. So that's a pretty big issue after only nine months. So overall, this light, it's pretty good for a beginner par, and it's pretty bright, but for something that's going to be used over a long time, and in DMX mode, I wouldn't really recommend it. But as a standalone fixture, it's okay.